Taskmaster. Kelly, I really loved your delivery. When I think of the storytelling speech, I'm always thinking of like what stories I could tell. But the fact that you did it as if you were reading your book, I, I like that approach. And I thought that that was great. For me personally, when I'm reading the stories to my children, I do the same thing of inflecting my voice a lot more than I do when I'm doing speeches. And so that's one of the things that I personally try to do is think of when I'm adding characters, how can I make those sounds as if I was reading to my kids? For your objectives, you talked about wanting to amplify your storytelling skills. And I thought that you excelled at this because of that method of delivery. Having that illustration on the side with the preface as the cat that you were going to tell us this story about how your fur baby found its forever home, it was a great setup. As you motored through the story, the one thing that I would have liked to see was that you kept the name baby sort of revealed later in the story. There were a couple of times when instead of saying kitten, you said baby before you actually named it in the story. For me, I know we kind of get it in the title, but it would have been a nicer surprise if, if you would have kept it until the name was actually given. In terms of the characters staying or switching voices, I thought it was really well having that dynamic between the squirrel Chunky and the cat, um, the kitten. It kind of reminded me of my children's stories of Elephant and Piggy, where you have clearly two different characters. But when we got to the people, I felt that they kind of had the same voices and pitch as the squirrel. I thought for sure you could have deepened the voice for the male that would have made it very easy to distinguish those voices. Lastly, I would also say when you said this character thought, you still said it in a normal voice instead of kind of bringing in, say, the kitten voice. Uh, lastly, your last objective was to encourage us to have more conversations about being humane and educating everybody. And I think you definitely got that point at the end. But what I would also like to point out is that I love that you kind of had that tie, not only between the people and the cat, but you had it between the older cat and the baby cat, as well as the squirrel and the baby. And I hope that other people kind of caught on to the fact that it was kind of an overlay message throughout that, but with different characters. So I thought you did a great job doing that. Overall, of course, we all loved your story. I think I don't have to buy the book now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but... The last thing I want to mention that I thought you did really great was keeping those gestures. So even though you were telling the story, you were still doing the gestures, even if it was reflected in the illustration. I love that you didn't just kind of tell us what was going on. You kept yourself in the story as well. So overall, thank you for a wonderful speech, Kelly.